The paca is a very large nocturnal rodent that is famous in much of Latin America for its delicious tasting meat. It is known in Costa Rica as the tipi squintli. Notice the particular way their jaw works as they devour these plantain fruits. They are strictly nocturnal and these two sets of long whiskers help them feel out their environment, especially going down tunnels. <coughs> their large eyes are perfectly adapted for seeing in the dark. In white light, one can appreciate their brown coat with white spots. Bananas are good too, even if they have to be shared with mice, four-eyed opossums, and bats. Tippy Squintly can weigh over nine kilograms. They make a wide variety of sounds, helped in part by a unique swollen cheekbone that acts as an amplifier. Some of these noises are to scare away predators, and others are for interactions between fellow Tippy Squintly. Their range is from Mexico to Paraguay, and Paca's preferred undisturbed forests with streams or water features of some sort. They only use about three hectares per pair, which isn't much. No one passes up a ripe mango, but what happens when there is no fruit in the forest? They don't bury seeds like their cousins, the agoutis. They have evolved to feed on leaves, seedlings, and bark. They eat a lot of dried leaves. Courtship dance involves hopping and twisting. Ah. Mm, sounds a little 50s. Ah. They form monogamous pairs but live in separate dens. Pacas breed all year round but only produce young one per year. That's not many. Burrows are dug three to nine meters long with two entrances the main one and the escape option. The latter is known as the usu. Que hoja más deliciosa. The usu is carefully hidden with leaves. collection is of high priority. The den is filled with leaves that provide comfort and also a snack when they get hungry.
a quick exit is necessary, it can get quite explosive. Pacas will often poop in streams, which probably dispels their smell, so their natural predators have a hard time finding them. However, poop is good too, and pacas are known to eat their own, their own poop that is, and pass it through twice in order to get out all those healthy nutrients. Yummy, and very sustainable. Unfortunately, the tasty meat of the paca and their low reproductive capacity has caused their numbers to decline. If a persecuted tippies quintly bolts out of its den, it often heads for a stream where it dives in and hides, even in the day. Hopefully future generations will not be so interested in hunting this amazing nocturnal creature of the tropical forest.